Hey there, I'm Brant Zip at Crocker Farm Auction, and I'm here with a great piece of American Stoneware history that we're going to be selling in our upcoming Spring 2020 auction of American Stoneware and Redware Pottery. So this guy was made by one of my all-time favorite potters, Henry Remy Sr., who was part of the prolific Remy family of potters and was the grandson of the first Remy stoneware potter to come from Germany to America and begin potting in Manhattan around the 1730s. Henry was born, oh, um, 30 some years later, roughly, and he would grow up in the uh, potting tradition that his grandfather had brought to America and um, and continue that alongside people like the Crolius family, the Morgan family, uh, Thomas Comerau, other New York City potters that have become kind of synonymous with the early craft in America. What Henry Remy did was actually come to Baltimore in 1812 and completely transform a craft that was making much cruder, brown-dipped, English-style stoneware. And what he did in, Amer in Baltimore was um, begin to make finer vessels that employed really beautiful cobalt designs. And uh, he didn't just incorporate cobalt into his vessels, but he made them really beautiful. He had a, an expert knowledge of the, um, the production process of American stoneware. And you can see that in this picture. So this picture is actually marked with the very rare makers mark, H. Remy Baltimore. And there's some question as to when these were made. We know by what they look like and by documentary evidence that they would predate pieces that are stamped H. Myers, which were produced at least for a time under the superintendence of Henry Remy at Henry Myers um, Stoneware Manufactory uh, near what is now Fells Point in Baltimore. Now, uh, why I bring up the Myers family is that Henry Remy came here to superintend uh, one of the Myers family's, well, well the Myers family's um, Baltimore Stoneware Manufactory. And this was initially um, owned by one member of the Myers family named William Myers. In time, it would be taken over by Jacob Myers and in turn by Henry Myers. And so, the H. Myers marks come in in the early 1820s. Um, I believe somewhere in the 1821 to 23 range off the top of my head. Um, these predate that. And so the question is, do the H. Remy Baltimore vessels, were they made during William Myers tenure, which would put them around 1812 to um, sometime in the mid 18 teens, uh, perhaps a little bit later, or were they made under Jacob Myers tenure? Um, they, they would certainly create the H. Myers time period. My personal feeling, even though to try to be conservative with our dating, we tend to put these more toward 1818, roughly. I think there's a good chance they were made closer to that 1812 date. And um, you can see here that, that Remy is potting this in a form that is quite similar to Manhattan stoneware pitchers of the time period. Um, but the decoration is not really easily relatable to Manhattan stoneware. And in fact, is kind of a primordial design that would morph into the Baltimore Clover design that you end up seeing for a good portion of the 19th century, at least in the second half, um, mainly. Um, Remy was not only responsible for completely transforming the Baltimore snore craft and then by extension the Mid-Atlantic snore craft because you have other shops cropping up in Alexandria, Richmond, and so on that are mimicking Baltimore stoneware. But he, um, his designs actually had a huge impact on the, um, that overall craft in that you then go on to see them employed in one sense or another uh, throughout Baltimore, uh, for decades on end into Philadelphia and then as I say down into Virginia. But from a history of American stoneware standpoint, this picture is a really important artifact, one of the finest examples of Remy's work 
from Baltimore still in existence that doesn't bear incised designs. You do see some super elaborate pieces that have incised birds and things like that. Um, but uh, from a, a, like a non-incised perspective, this is one of the very best, uh, if not the best, HRME Baltimore example. Um, and also when I speak of, of those other pieces, um, I can only think of one maybe that actually is marked by Remy. Um, so just actually having the maker's mark and, um, and just in such fine condition, this really is an exemplary example of um, early Baltimore, Maryland stoneware. And as I say, an important artifact of the American stoneware craft. And we're very happy to have it for our spring 2020 auction.